audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. Want to win in life's challenges? To know the will of God and have more passion for Him? Practical help right now with Tark Barna and Running With Fire. Thanks for tuning in today and yesterday I finished by sharing about how with um, revival comes the power of God and I'm sure you agree with me. We need the power of God. People's lives are so messed up, so broken, relationships, sickness, mental health, depression, suicide, bullying, self-harming, you know, abuse, drug abuse, alcohol abuse, nicotine abuse, you know, people, God's people. And people who come into churches are desperate to be set free. Most people don't want to live that way. And so we need the power of God, as we read in the book of Acts, so people's lives can be radically transformed and changed. Tozer, the great writer, said this, religion can reform a person's life, but it can never transform him. Only the Holy Spirit can transform. That's why we need more of the Holy Spirit. Zechariah 4 verse 6 says, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. If that's true, that the work of God can't be done, the kingdom of God, the church can't advance except by the power of the spirit, then what is our greatest need? The outpouring of the Holy Spirit. A whole lot more of the spirit of God is what we need. And so that's what comes or happens in revival. Here's another verse for you, 1 Corinthians 4.20. The kingdom of God is not just words, but power. Hello? Can I say that again? The kingdom of God, church, living for Jesus, serving him, is not just words, it's power. That's, that's the blueprint. That's what Christianity is all about. How we've ever lost or let go of the power power, um, I can't explain that, unfortunately. See, people want transformation, not just information. We're good at giving people the information. Come and let me tell you more about God. They said, great, thank you, Pastor, but actually I need a bit of transformation in my life. Can you give me that as well? Oh, come back next week. No, no, we've got to change that narrative, don't we? The world also wants to be shown the reality of God. So they said, don't just tell me. Show me. This God is really is what he, you say he is. You know, Let me have some evidence. That can be a conviction of sin or a ministry of the Spirit. Something like that can do it as well. You know, the Azusa Street, it's a great, great stories come out of Azusa Street. They're great revival at the turn of the century, and it just exploded across the globe. But listen to this story. So this homeless man, he's in his 20s, blind, got the stench of alcohol. He comes to one of their meetings, and he is prayed for and instantly healed to the extent that the stench of alcohol just disappears. So he's homeless, he's blind, he's an alcoholic, he's restored by the power of God. It doesn't finish there. He went on to see revival. It doesn't finish there. He planted many churches, including the Assemblies of God churches. Can you get your head around that? He's 20, homeless, blind, stench of alcohol, ends up planting churches. This is revival. This is what happens when God comes down and begins to touch and apprehend life. He can change and transform anyone. The worst, most rotten person on the planet, mental health issue, you name it, God. When he turns up, there is no limit to what the power of Almighty God is. Can do. That's why I'm so passionate to see God's Spirit poured out. And I believe we are going to see this, and it's closer than it's ever been. They reckon that Jesus, they estimate Jesus spent 60% of his time working miracles, healing people, setting captives free. 60% of his time. Reminds me of a lady in our church, church, I think it was this year or late last year, she got saved and instantly set free of 24 years of meth addiction. Instantly, folks. In a moment. Of course, she's telling all her friends, her family, they're coming along. They're also giving their lives to Jesus Christ. I hope you're getting inspired about the fact that we need 
God to turn up in our lives and in our churches. Tark Barna is the Senior Pastor of Church Unlimited in Auckland, New Zealand. For more information, to make contact or to listen again, look for Running With Fire at our website, vision.org.au. Thanks for taking time to listen to this audio on demand from Vision Christian Media. To find out more about us, go to vision.org.au. 